could happen. If I can get, there we go. There we go. Now we're clipped in. And we can even get in to the top, the, the top chain ring along this stretch. That gravel is a little bit rough for the average, even mountain bike tire. Uh, for the fat tires, no problem. Bonjour. Um, but I still try to search for the smooth spot just to kind of give my tires a break. Isaac's up ahead. I stopped to get the camera set up and uh, he passed me and as much as possible. It's kind of hard to take it all off because the electronics are in the Arkell handlebar bag. But the uh, new, you know, wisdom of trying to have a lot up front is not so good an idea in these off-road trails because as soon as you get into any kind of jam your front steering becomes a liability now that woman there wasn't big fast rider we've seen a lot of women um, along this stretch riding bicycles which is kind of unusual Neoki is a more sophisticated little town than average it has a lumber mill and had electricity at night. So presumably the women are getting a little more educated. And so they're riding bicycles more than walking. And there's more motorcycles as well. I haven't seen any women riding motorcycles though. Big trucks could get along here. It's not that bad. Even my truck could make this road. Uh, there's Isaac way up ahead. Can't see it in the camera yet probably, but I can see him. Get a little bit of a gear change here for a downhill. Yeah, see, we have to go around some little places here that'd be pretty rough. I could go over them if I wanted, but try to stay. My gears need a little adjustment. Sand mixed with this volcanic, red volcanic now we're in the red volcanic only. It's a really rough road for a conventional bicycle tire. Bonjour. Bonjour. Some of these African riders, even the women, are pretty awesome. They have a pretty good sized front chain ring, usually made out of steel in these chi uh, Indian made bikes and then they have a small Bonjour. Bonjour. and they have a small uh, just single sprocket in the back and these guys if they're motivated they'll ride past you <laughs> 
they're very proud and they're very strong. Here's Isaac. Isaac's uh, cadence is still a little on the slow side. Okay, we're gonna get to the top up here in front of Isaac slightly. All quits. This is Congo Velo, Velo Congo. Bonjour. We're due for a a pineapple or banana stop, being as it's about almost eleven. We usually like to stop a couple times. The geology of, of the Congo is still something of a mystery. It's uh, obviously one of the oldest parts on the planet, being part of the original continent, but this uh, eroded red rock is some kind of very old volcanic material. Um, and then you have this sandy stuff that looks like it was once the bottom of a of a lake or a, or an ocean even you know Bonjour. Bonjour. whoops Bonjour. Bonjour. the children are wonderful Bonjour, Bobo Gaston. I can see that I've got the camera, I guess. Well, many of them are very frightened of a camera. Um, it's an irrational kind of thing, but understandable, I guess. Okay, where we got a place to pull into? That looks kind of comfortable. Oh. I guess we could pull in here. Bonjour. So there's some bananas up there. We're gonna stop. Wait for Isaac to catch up. Oh, 